Asus has a new mainstream laptop in the market called the VivoBook Max X541 UA that promises great audio and performance at a reasonable price. Let's see how true these claims are. Because of its low cost, the chassis is built mostly of plastic. The lid has quite a bit of flex and the display warps when you open or close the lid, which is something we didn't like. This laptop is a bit heavy too and you'll feel it if you plan on carrying it around every day. The keyboard area is spacious and the keys are very comfortable for extended typing sessions. The trackpad works well for Windows 10 gestures too. Connectivity is good and we even have a USB Type-C port. However, we wish the spacing between the two full-size USB ports had been better. The X541 UA has an entry-level specifications which includes an Intel Core i3-7100U CPU, 4GB of RAM and a 1TB hard drive. The OS of choice here is Windows 10 Home 64-bit and you get the usual suite of trial software pre-installed. General Windows and app performance is quite sluggish. Even with just a few programs running, you're typically left with only 900MB of free RAM. CPU performance is decent, but don't expect heavy apps and games to run smoothly. However, some 3D games from the Windows Store do run well. It's refreshing to see a full HD screen on a laptop at this price, but its color reproduction and viewing angles are quite weak. We also notice some color banding even in high resolution videos. The 3 watt stereo speakers are loud thanks to Bang & Olufsen's ice power sound enhancements. Vocals are clear and the highs don't sound too tinny. The VGA webcam in the laptop does produce some noisy footage even in a well-lit room. The 3-cell battery managed a little more than 4 hours of battery life with casual usage, which is quite weak. If you use any heavy apps, then expect the battery to run out even sooner. The VivoBook Max X541 UA has a comfortable keyboard and good audio in its favor, but the rest of the package isn't very impressive. Asus could have done better with the quality of the display, stronger battery life and overall fit and finish of the plastics. However, the VivoBook Max does cost a bit less compared to similarly spec laptops from the competition, which is a plus point. So thanks for watching our review. Be sure to check out more videos right here. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.